G'day everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna do sort of a cyberpunk composite this week. This is the photo that we're gonna start off with right here. So as usual, let's get started. So the first thing I've done on this photo, I've cut out this sky here. So I'll just turn this off and you can see I've just cut out the sky in the background using my selection brush tool here. Gone all the way around the city and just deleted the back of the sky. So let's add a new sky and we're gonna add this one here, which is this picture of the stars here. So the next picture we'll add into our composite is our moon. So let's click on our moon here, come over to our move tool, make sure we're on that moon layer, make that a little bit smaller and we'll get rid of the black background here. So let's come over here to our flood select tool, just click on the black area here. And now we can simply go delete. Command D or escape to get rid of those marching ants. While we're on this moon layer here, let's just grab our smudge brush and let's bring that flow right down to about, about six, five or six percent. I'm just gonna go around the edges of that moon just to smooth them in a little bit. Back on my move tool, I think I'm gonna turn the moon around this way and then place it above, make it a bit bigger and about there, I think, is looking pretty good at the moment. Also on the moon, I have a HSL. So I'm just gonna turn that on. So let's bring that up the top here and click on that HSL. And I've, you can see the settings that I've got here. I've just brought it more into that purpley sort of color. I've also got a HSL adjustment on the city here. And I'm gonna turn that one on as well. Click on that and you can see the settings here. And I've just made that city go a little bit more into that maroney purpley color as well. While I'm here, I'm going to add another HSL on top, that one, and I'm gonna bring this one more into the sort of light signy blues. About there looks pretty good. While we're on there, we'll grab our brush, make our brush quite big, drop the flow to about 25%. Painting in black, and I'm gonna get rid of some of this blue just in certain areas and bring the neon back again. Swap over if you think you want some more of that blue, but I want this tower here to be the sort of purpley color. And maybe a bit of that blue down here. Okay, that's not looking too bad. So we've got our two HSLs there. Collapse that. Let's come over here now to these two images that I've got here. And this is an image of a building, but looking up and I've just used it in a different way here. And each one of these also has that sort of purpley HSL. And we'll just put that up there so you can see the settings I've used there as well. Now, each one of these left and right, we're going to add an exposure and clip it to each one. And we're gonna darken them down quite a bit. And just for consistency, I'll copy that exposure and clip that to the right side as well. So we've got these two sides with exposures. While we're here on our exposure, we'll grab our brush again. We're still on 25% and we'll change to black. Make my brush a lot smaller. And that's where I'm gonna add these little highlights in now. And I might just brighten those windows up a little bit as well. Let's do the same to the other side. So we're on that exposure and let's add those little highlights. As usually guys, I'm just doing this quite quickly. So I know that you will take a little bit more time doing those highlights. So that is pretty much our city all ready to go. So we're gonna bring over our tram. This is our hover tram. And this is where I started. So I'm just gonna talk you through the layers here. So basically we've got just this tram here. So what I've done on this tram, I've added a rust. You can see that overlay and that is clipped to the tram and also an exposure on that tram. So I've changed the front of the tram. So I've added a whole new front to the tram, just like that. You can see the whole new front. And that also has a background of the overlay, rust overlay, and also an exposure. So 
I wanted the man in the tram to stay, so I've added the man from the other tram and I've added a HSL just to change that color, make it um, blend a little bit better. There is an exposure and there's also that rust as well just on the edges. So we've added our neon lights, so our neon little sign here, this one and this one. And also we're going to add our exhaust. So I've got this picture of the exhaust, so we'll add the exhausts and then we'll add a couple more railings in just to go over those exhausts. We've added some shadow behind the exhaust and I've also added these holes here. And I'll just show you quickly how I made these holes here. So I use my ellipse tool and you can see if I do that. We've got this, we've used our ellipse tool and we've just made a circle with the ellipse. So this is the new one here and also add a layer effect. So I've added a bevel and emboss. You can see that there and I've changed that to inner and then with this little direction I've just moved that around to the side here and then if I bring that down let's just put it over here for now and click off it. And you'll be able to see where we've added that sort of looking like more of a 3D hole there. So that's how I did the holes on the side here. So let's click off that. We can get rid of that one because we don't need it. And that is the holes for the exhaust. The next thing we added are all the engines. So each engine, so we've got this engine here. Each engine has that rust layer clipped to the engine and also the mask, just masked it into the side there. And then each engine has this picture of the flame here as well. So you can see all these engines have just been done exactly the same way. And then underneath this tram, we've added the other engines. So they're on the other side here. So you can just see as I turn them on, they all have a flame and they all have the engine. So if we turn on that black background, you'll see the effect of the hover tram. Okay, so let's just turn that off. Let's highlight all of these layers and group them into one group. And let's just call that hover tram. And for anybody who wants this tram, I will have it on the Buy Me A Coffee site in PNG format. I won't have the flames on there. You'll have to add those later, but it'll have everything else, all the engines and everything, and then you can add the flames later. So let's grab that hover tram, Command C, and let's take it over to our city. And then right on top, let's go Command V. Grabbing our move tool, and let's move our tram into place and make it a bit bigger. I'm just going to place it sort of about there, I think looks pretty good. And there's a few other little things we're going to do now. So let's open that tram layer. On our tram layers down here, we've got, remember, we've got our exposures. So let's click on our exposures and make that quite dark. We're also going to have to do that to the window as well. So let's just match that in as well. There we go. And also the back of our tram, that exposure. We'll make that dark as well. While we're on this one, we'll grab our brush. We've still got our flow 25%. Let's paint in white and let's add some highlights to the back there. Okay, let's go to the front of the tram exposure and let's add our highlights in that as well. Down the side here. Okay, I'm going to drop the flow of my brush to about 10% and I'm just going to brighten up the front of that tram and I'm going to do the same to the back of the tram on the back of the tram's exposure. A little bit more on the front. Okay, happy with that. So I collapse those tram layers. What I'm going to do right on top here. I'm going to add another pixel layer right on top. I'm going to fill that layer with black, all the way to black, and change that to add. And on that layer, I'm going to pick this green color here for the sign, sort of make it a bit more green. Let's double click on the colors here. Let's go into the greens a bit more, a bit more neon-y, there we go. And brush about probably, let's do 20%. Make the brush a little bit bigger. Let's just put a little bit of glow there. Let's change our color to red, sort of a bit more red. Let's 
to put a bit of glow just near this little neon sign here as well. And one more color change to yellow, a bit more yellow, maybe there. Just a little bit of glow out of these windows here. Just about like that. Let's maybe we can put a bit on the wall here. And maybe with that green that we had before, more into the greens, about there. Okay, maybe we can put a bit of that sort of just over here. Looking too bad. We need to bring our man out a little bit so we can see him. So let's go down to that tram window on here. Let's go to our exposure. Get our colors back to default. Back on our brush, back to about 25%. Let's see if we can bring our man out a bit. That's a little bit better. A couple of little more things we can do. Let's add another pixel layer right on top. Let's come to our brushes. Let's turn our brush on over here. Low of 25%, we can change that if we like. But let's come to our brushes. I'm gonna use one of the I Am Resni Lens Flare brushes. And I'm going to pick this one here. So I've got my color in white at the moment. I might change it to a bit of an orangey color to match the sort of light here. So a little bit of an orange there. And let's add a little bit of light. Let's bring our flow down to about 25% again. There we go. And let's just add those little lens flares there. Let's put it on that one and that one. I'm gonna change the color to white. So default to white, X on our keyboard. Let's add a white one there. And then let's make the next one a little bit bigger for this middle one here. And pop that right in the middle. There we go, guys, that's not looking too bad. So we can do our final little thing now. Again, if you want to, we can come up here to Layers, Merge Visible, and we can come over here to our Tone Mapping. Let's click on our detailed one here. We'll bring this Tone Compression all the way down to 20, I think, this time. Right on 20. Let's, let's bring our exposure down and let's tiny bit of contrast, not too much. Bring our saturation down a tiny bit and our vibrance up. Let's bring our detailed refinement to about the 50 mark. White balance, let's bring that sort of up a little bit, not too much, tiny little bit. And there we go, let's hit apply. So there you go, everybody. That is my composite for this week. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing to my channel. Don't forget the tram will be available for you on the Buy Me A Coffee site. That link will be below for you to download absolutely free. You can also support my channel there if you like. You can also just click on the super thanks link below if you would like to support my channel. But until next time, I'm gonna to say to you, stay well, stay safe, and I'll see you in my next video.